Hi, it's Deanna, and so this is going to be sort of a part two of a previous video I did about this um, old teddy bear that I got on eBay. And um, what I did, what I failed to notice before, because I was just like caught up in the moment of excitement of when I first got this bear, was that I thought he could possibly be an actual antique bear from like the 20s or 30s. And like the seller just said refurbished bear. He didn't know what it was in the description. He said he got it from an estate sale in Texas and that he really didn't have too much information about it. He thought it was like some kind of refurbished bear. And uh, I got it on eBay, like I said. Um, but like what I noticed that I didn't notice before was, so like here's um, the costume that appears to be antique. And as you can see, it has very old fabric. It has an old 1920s um, leather cover, like book cover, um, to a poem book. And it has a pocket watch chain that goes into his little pocket, beading. And uh, like I said, I wasn't sure how old this bear was, but it really has an old musty odor. And it smells, <laughs> it smells like old. I don't know if... Um, I can explain it any better than, you know, you know, an old smell when you smell it. But like what I just noticed um, after I did the original video, which I'll link up in the description so you can see the first one, is that the dress um, of this uh, on this lady's photo here, this Victorian 1890s photo, if you look close, she's she has beaded um, like a beaded, beaded bodice on the top of her dress and it has the same type of beads that are on this uh, actual bear. Let me just like try to get a better shot. My camera's being a bit of, a, you know, a jerk right now, but you see the bead, the bead work on her dress. And I think it actually is the actual bead from her dress that was incorporated into the costume of this bear. It has like a sartouche braid, as you can see here with beadery. And I think it was incorporated into this bear's costume. And uh, that is pretty, pretty fascinating. So this is probably a memorial bear that was made to memorialize this lady's life. As you can see, this costume is very old. It has very old fabric. It has silk and velvet. And again, the uh, sartouche braiding trim with the beads that look like glass beads. Marcasite buttons that are made out of some kind of rhinestone. And uh, so I have a feeling that this bear was made to memorialize this lady's life. And someone took her dress and took it apart and added the beads onto this little bear's costume in order to memorialize and honor this lady's life. And maybe they shared poem, you know, poems together this may have been her, uh, one of her books. And in the 20s, sometime in the uh, mid to late 20s, possibly very early beginning of the 1930s, somebody actually could have possibly made this bear or this was actually a teddy bear that the person probably um, refurbished, maybe um, what the seller meant by refurbished, even though he didn't have any info about this, was that somebody took this old actual antique bear and you know, remade it in a way, like uh, turned it into something of a memorial for this lady in the photograph. And uh, I really think that's quite amazing. Um, you can see he's very old. He has a swivel head. He has a little stitched um, nose made out of some kind of silk thread fabric. He has glass button, shoe, you know, glass button eyes, not shoe buttons. So that makes me think he's after 1910. And he has shaggy, very shaggy mohair. And um, in the previous video, I showed you his legs. So it looks like somebody hollowed out the legs and added these little wooden um, rods inside the legs to make it so it can stand up. And as I squeeze the legs, you can feel the wood inside the legs. And it goes up into the waist area. And the rest of this bear is straw stuffed. So when I squeeze it, I can feel a crunchy sound. And this appears to be like a metal, like a piece of metal in there. And uh, so I really, really find this fascinating that this could be the beads from this lady's dress. And this was possibly made to memorialize somebody's life as a loving gesture. 
So uh, if you want to see the original video where I show you, you know, the whole story in uh, more detail on this bear, check out the description below and click on it and you can see part one and this is part two. So thanks for watching and if you like what you see, please be kind, hit the thumbs up and subscribe.